Hey everybody, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and welcome to another jewelry haul. I'm so excited. I have not found a whole lot of jewelry jars lately, but I went out the other day. Oh gosh, I forgot to mute myself. I'm live. Hang on. There you go. <laughs> Isn't it funny to hear yourself? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Do over. Yeah. So I haven't found very many jewelry jars or jewelry bags lately, like lots of jewelry, but I found three yesterday when I was at Goodwill. Um, so I picked them up because I just did. And I was going to wait to unbox them or unjar them, but I thought I would go ahead and do one today. But I do have some loose pieces that I also picked up that I wanted to share with you. So I have them in here. So I'll share those with you. And if you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Margaret. I'm a stay-at-home mom who is making money by selling online, making shirts by, for merch by Amazon, and showing you guys what I do, what I pick up, what I sell, and all that good stuff. So hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell next to it so you're notified when I go live or when I put up new videos. So without further ado, let me show you the three jar. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to open today. So that's what I'm going to open today, but I did pick up three. They were $24.99 each, but I was jonesing for them. This one actually doesn't look that awesome. But you know when you're in the moment, and I, my rule is normally <laughs> I have to find something in the bag or the jar that I see that I can make my money back on. But honestly, I don't think I've ever gotten one where I didn't make my money back. Ex well, no, even then, because there have been some that have been crazy expensive. I think 50 bucks was the most I spent on one in uh, Portland is where I was. Yeah. So, hello, hello, I am live, so if you hear me talking to people in the chat, um, I, I don't have it popped up for you guys, but I may be talking to people. Hello, thank you so much. Yay, okay, let me share with you the, the loose pieces I got and what I, I know, right, thanks, Julie, <laughs> what I got um, at Goodwill. And some of them I did pay up for, but I thought they were super awesome. So these pair of earrings, I did spend five bucks on them. But I have a really good feeling that I'll be able to list them for probably at least 30 bucks. They have these little dice inside and they have Monopoly pieces on jump rings on them. Isn't that wild? So I don't know if somebody had to solder those or if they were just specially made like that. But I think they're super, super cool. Are you going through a bag right now, Wendy says? So I got those. I'm going to set those. Let's see. Where am I going to put them? I'll put them on the windowsill. And then I got this bangle because I really like the pattern on it. And I'm, an, I'm a sucker for bangles. So I picked this one up. It was 99 cents. Uh, again, it's, you know, well, it's not magnetic, but I don't think it's really gold or anything either. So I just really liked it. I lost my, my fancy jewelry magnet. This is like a super duper strong magnet. This one is not magnetic, but again, I don't think it's gold at all, like real gold, but very pretty, very cool. I'll set that to the side. And because it's me, I'll probably test it since it's not magnetic. Okay, then next, check a look at this brooch or pin I got. Isn't it cool? It's this dragon. And this one's got two pins on the pin back part. I didn't even look to see if it was marked. So let me peek at it and see if it's got a mark, a maker's mark or anything. No, I don't see any kind of maker's mark on the back, but it's super cool. Yay! Hey Beth, how's it going? <laughs> okay, so that is a super cool dragon. Oh, did I say what I thought? I'm not sure about the bangle. Um, but the dragon, I'm thinking I'll probably put at least 20 bucks on him because I think he's super cool and there are people that are into dragons. And so I'm just going to kind of guesstimate what I'm going to put on stuff. Now these ones are one of those, it's like, it's so weird and I personally think ugly, but somebody else is going to look at them and just fall in love with them. Look at these earrings. <laughs> They're so bright, like pink and turquoise. And they remind, they almost remind me of like Southwest style, like animals and stuff. But yeah, they're, they're, what is that? Is that like a llama? A dog? I don't even know. Um, and that one kind of looks like a dog. So yeah, I got these ones. They were $2.99. I think these were, Blue Tag was on sale. So it was like 30% off of $2.99. So I'll probably still put 20 bucks on these crazy earrings, you know, so I'm pretty sure because they're so out there, I think somebody's going to really like them. Okay, let's see. That's okay. Thanks. Yeah. Um, Frugal Gals has finally came across jewelry jars tonight. Examine them closely. 
Oh no, the jar contains those cheap, cheap polished stones. Oh dear. Oh, hello, hello, hello in the chat. Hey, Jessica. Um, you bought Granny Coin Game in earrings. That's right. Those will be somebody's lucky earrings. So this little baggie was $4.99 and it had two kind of like charm pendants in it. This one, I don't know. I just really liked them. So I went ahead with it. I did. So I got this one that kind of looks like a medallion of some sort. Pardon my nails, you guys. I really meant to go get them done, but it just hasn't happened yet. So maybe tomorrow. All right, so that one. And then this one's one of those little prayer boxes, which I just love. Hey, Henry, how's it going? So this one has got a little prayer box. And so, and it does open. And I know there are people that just, they love these. I don't know what they generally go for, but I thought, you know, for $4.99 for both of them, I went ahead with it. And they're not magnetic. I don't see any kind of like makers or like hallmarks for silver or anything. So I don't know. We'll just see. We will see. I'll take a closer look at them later. I do have my loop handy, but I didn't see anything that was yelling at me that there was a mark. So let's see. Frugal Gal, I found a vintage 1950s little lamp pin brooch that had red jeweled eyes and a cute little blue. Oh, cute. Yeah. That, that does sound cute. Okay, I'm looking again. One more try. My eyes just all of a sudden don't do what I want them to do. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm that old either. So what's the deal? Okay, so then these ones, I did a whole big month of amber with my jewelry lovers group. And so I saw these ones and they just, you know, they scream amber, right? So I have not tested them yet. Um, so I need to go through the process and test them. The setting in... At first, I thought the setting was like maybe really tarnished silver, but now I'm not so sure if you look at it. You know, I don't think so. Again, apologies. Those nails are driving me nuts. But um, I'm still going to check them out. I don't know. It looks it, They look super tarnished. So I'm going to take a closer look at them later when I um, test them for, for amber. And But they could just be like copal or some other faux faux amber but it's worth you know it was worth a, a peek because maybe somebody who can't afford real amber can afford my <laughs> knockoff cheapy ones right let's see um in the chat oh thanks for the the, the yeah my new background this is uh in the new school room as you guys know i'm starting homeschooling my guys and so we created like a little reading corner and so i thought oh this will be nice a nice place to to do some videos too okay next up Let's see. <laughs> Aren't they wild? Yeah. Um, cool. Oh, yay. I'm glad you're here. Hey, Chili. Okay, then these ones, I am 99% sure are Brighton earrings because it has the, that whole style. Even though, sorry, it's wiggling around. Even though there's no mark on them, once you get to know, I don't think there's a mark under there. Let me double check it. But yeah, Brighton, <laughs> the alarm's going off on Alexa. So there are people that really like Brighton, and these ones are in really good shape. So what did I pay for this? What was the bag? Oh, I lost the bag already. I don't know. The price is not on there. Okay. Oh, it was all plastic. Bought a bag because I thought it had some amber, make light amber, but oh, 11 pounds later, all plastic. Darn. Uh, that's okay. It's fun to go through, right? Okay, and then this one, it was a buck ninety nine. It's a little rocket ship just because I thought it was cute. And again, there are people that are, I love figural stuff. There are people that are into rockets and things like that. Um, this little bat, <laughs> I paid up for this little bat. He, again, blue tag's 30% off. But my son was like, look how cute this bat is. I was like, you know what? That is cute. I'm going to get it. So, you know, this one will probably go up for about 15 bucks. That was cute. Cute little bat. People like bats. <laughs> What's up, sugar? What is it? What do you need? Yeah, go get it. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Sorry, real life happening in the background. Hey, Joni. Okay, then I also got these earrings. These were a buck ninety nine, and these remind me of those. Um, what are they? There, there's a word for them in, in Southwest jewelry. These birds, Thunderbirds. It's not Thunderbird. What is it? You, somebody's gonna know. That, that's what it reminded me of, though. Kind of that. They almost look like the kind of birds that would be on like a totem or something. Glare's catching them. But aren't they cool? They were a buck ninety-nine. That was those. 
Again, not magnetic, so I didn't see any marks on them, but they could be. Hey, Becca, <laughs> how's it going? All right, here we go. Get back in that bag of you. Get back in there. Okay, so there's that. Wow, I kind of got a lot of loose stuff, and I still have this jar or this bag to go through. Okay, this one was $2.99. I couldn't believe it. So it's one of these like flip around rings. So it starts like that on one side. It's got two um, ring parts and then you can flip it over and it's got this black stone, which I'm not quite sure what that is. <laughs> the jar, oh, the jars have gone up. Oh darn. See, we go through spells where they're just like gone. There's none. And then all of a sudden there'll be a bunch. So anyway, this cool ring, I don't know how much they go for, but Pretty cool for $2.99, $2.99. Okay, and then there was another one. How would I go about selling my, on, how do you sell it on, on YouTube? I guess get people to watch that wants to buy it. <laughs> yeah, okay, so next, the I have sold amber earrings that look very close to these. Now again, I'm not sure those are amber, amber, because amber feels like plastic, right? They're still like, I mean, I could rub them and smell them, but uh so I need to test those and see if they are really amber or not. But the top part's really cool. It, you know, it's really almost serpentine looking at the top, right? Um, I don't see any marks either. And they're not magnetic. I should show you. They're not magnetic. The top parts up here are not magnetic. So it's probably silver, even though I don't have my eyes, my eyes working right now. Hang on, my kids are trying to set Alexa. They can't get Alexa to listen. <laughs> there we go. And let's see if that ring had, let's see, Frugal Grouse's with the flip ring and Avon ring had one similar. I didn't see any marks in it, but let me look again. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't see any marks, so there's a possibility. There's a possibility, but yeah, no marks that I can see. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay, then this one, the, I wonder if I could have done just this instead of just the, and the jewelry jar, but that's okay. They could be possibly, possibly. Okay, so the, the mark on this one is this C, which I, it doesn't look like a Charming Charlie C, and it doesn't look like a Coro type C, and it doesn't, I, so I couldn't place what C it was, so I'll have to think about it. Okay, so here we go. This is the necklace, but I thought it was so pretty. Let's see, what's going on? I will be going in, John. <laughs> cool, cool. Okay, so here we go. Uh-oh, wrong way. So it's got these little red enamel like hearts and then this green cabochon right here. But yeah, I'm gonna have to do a little, because I I can't figure out what that season is. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not Claire's. Because it doesn't really look like a Claire's kind of piece. So it is magnetic, but it's really cool. Um, question, you buy ornaments and such, but I'm not sure if you're asking me or if you, no, Pancake. Pancake's trying to drink my water. Naughty kitty, naughty kitty. And then finally, one last piece that I got loose was this one. And they had it on the display. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so good. I like it. And again, it was 30% off. How it was still there, I don't know. So $4.99, 30% off, because blue was 30% off. But look at it. It's got this really cool, like, Art Deco hanging. <laughs> what do you call it? Pendant, anyway. So there's that. Isn't that nice? I love it. I love it. So there is that one. Um, and again, depending on what I see, it'll probably go up for about 30 bucks, depending on what else I see out there. But I thought it was so cool. And I didn't see any maker's mark. None of them jumped out. No, no maker's mark on it. Watch the B1 on the back that I totally missed. Nope. Okay, here we go. Hang on. The cats are starting to circle. What are you doing, cats? This is not for you. All right. We'll see. We'll see what they do. Okay, Egyptian. Yeah, it kind of has that Egyptian look. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this I should have grabbed, grabbed two tubs, but I didn't. I just didn't. All right, and I'm gonna dump this into my tub, and we'll just go for it. Or maybe I should just pull it out of the. I'll pull out of the bag and stick it in the tub. How about that? That might be a little easier, so we don't double up. Okay, so first up in the bag, 
We've got these World Market earrings. Those are pretty cool. Uh-oh. <laughs> the bag just tipped over and down. Let's see how much spilled. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But there was a cat there. And the cat just got jewelried. Is that a word? Can you get jewelry? Let me grab these few pieces that slip down. Sorry, y'all. This is what happens when you're live. There's no editing this out. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Sorry, it's probably got louder because mic is right there next to my mouth now. I'm picking them up, and this is my I'm picking them up song. Is that it? Probably. Hopefully. We'll see. Okay, <laughs> one more try. I'm gonna put it in my lap this time instead of cradling it like a babe. Okay, here we go. There. Now. Okay, sit up. Oh, do over. <laughs> so yeah, these earrings, I'll probably list them for, you know, probably around $12.99. World market. Of course, I'll take them off this card because they're kind of the cards you have to be looking. Okay, next are these, I know, the cats, are these silver balls, and they are on a chain, which looks a bit tarnished, so that's promising. So let's see if we see any kind of marks. Eh. What I'm seeing is like rubbing off of the, right, there was something else, now pancakes, got it. It's glossed forever. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's really heavy, and it feels it feels really cool. So let me see if it's magnetic at all. Hmm. It's not pulling on the magnet, but I don't. I really don't think it's silver. Just from looking at the the pieces where it's rubbing together, it looks kind of not right. So I don't know. It's pretty cool though. I'm I'm trying to rub the edges and see what I see. Oh, pancake! Really? What do you have? I found it. I got it. You knocked it back over to me. Thanks, pancake. <laughs> there must be something else. Um, I paid $24.99 for the big bag. Okay, so there's that. Then I'm going to set um, earrings. There's like mate, mates, mateless earrings. We'll see. Okay, here we've got a necklace. Does that, does that go with that or is that separate? I think. Hang on. There was no detangling before the video. So there we go. So then we've got this necklace. All the pieces seem to be there, so that's good. And it's a green, kind of like a minty green. That's pretty. So I think this would sell. Somebody would like that. So this will probably go up probably about 15 bucks. Not bad. Not too shabby. And then this one, oh, I thought it was broken. It's not broken. Again, another one with these really pretty green stones, and it's got like this Y drop to it. That's unusual. That green, yeah, that's nice. <clears throat> this is like going through my grandfather's tackle box. I got the bag at Goodwill. I got three bags at Goodwill, so we'll have some for later. So this one, yeah, this is kind of nice. I, I almost like I like this color green. So I would probably, I'll probably put this one up for around that same like 12, 15 bucks. Um, we'll see. Okay, let me put that up there. And then there's there's some things will probably go like in a craft lot. Um, I'm not even sure what that is. Hang on, I'll set that to the side. Um, like this one will probably go into a craft lot because it's like, mm, yeah, and that's cool. Okay, next we've got this one. The the elastic is stretched in it, but it's these glass beads that my sister likes to use. My sister makes um, wind chimes out of like uh, silver silver plate um, utensils and then like glass beads, and they're super pretty. So I save glass beads like this when I find them to take to her for the wind chimes. So that gets to her. Very. I got these ones on the one that was at, are you in my area? I'm not gonna tell. <laughs> I got them at the one that's on the freeway off by NASA. That's where I got these ones. Let's see, I haven't been down to the Bay Area Boulevard one in a long time, Clarence Ninja. Um, let's see, da da da. This is a hair doodad, which will go into a lot because bleh. <laughs> you gotta wash my hands now when I'm done. When is the green room meetup this year? Well, usually it's in Austin, Heather. Usually it's in July, and it's usually right before the eBay open, which I've been I've been putting off going to the eBay open because I would always go to green room. Okay, so we've got just a little black dangle there. 
Hello, hello. Okay, so next, yes, exactly, Clarence Ninja. This is unusual. So it's got this fur, which does not feel faux, <laughs> but it looks painted though. So this is fur. I mean, it, and this bottom part like, is this leather, and then it's got this cross on it, which yeah, it's really unusual. So I'm sure it will sell. I just have to figure out how to describe it with this fur. <laughs> Oh, who was it that told me what, what it's called when the first kind of died like this? Oh, gosh, it's, it just left my brain. But, the, you know, this, like, brutalist, hammered-looking um, cross. You know, people really like that style of cross. Whether they would like the fur or not, that's another question. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> okay, the next. Come on, don't tangle on me. Well, maybe it's going to tangle on me. That's okay. We'll just pull. We'll just keep pulling. Just keep pulling, right? It'll come loose. We've got this chain, which I'm sure is not silver at all. Um, and it will go into a lot because, like a craft lot, because it's, yeah, it's not so awesome. They closed all the Goodwills in Canada. Hey, Fraps. How's it going? That's Linda, right? It's so hard for me to remember everybody's name and their call sign or whatever, you know. Okay. Really want to go to Austin this year. Yeah, it's always so fun, and I and I, I'm planning on going to eBay this year. We'll see. I mean, th everything has changed now, though. Now that I have the kids home, you know what I mean. Good morning from Florida. Hello, or good evening. I say good morning. It's been a long day. That's why. Okay, these this is not wanting to detangle, so we may just have to show it, tangles and all. Here we go. Get off there. Okay, so we have got. A really shiny pink butterfly <laughs> necklace. Most of this is stuff that'll end up in a lot, like a craft lot. This is some um, like plasticky and wooden beads on a strap. Don't fall. And these beads, which look like they were trying to be pearls, but you can see they're really the coating has already come off. They're pretty grody. So this all will end up in a craft lot. So that's not too bad. Oh, yeah, you're not too far at all. <laughs> yeah, that's not far at all. All right, then that's a broken earring, I think, right there. And this will go into a craft lot as well, just these plastic black beads. And this will go into, I have a, I have a whole bunch of rosaries. So this is a purple wooden rosary that will go with all my rosaries until I create a rosary lot. Unless I sell the other ones. Oh, okay. Hey, Carol. How's it going? Um, not sorting this time. This time we're, un, we're unjarring. They didn't have any jars. They had bags. So I have a bag of jewelry. Now there's a leaf. I did, that's a bonus, I think. A bonus leaf, which I didn't need. But that's okay. And then this, again, will go into a lot. I've been throwing all the watches I find into this uh, basket because I don't know anything about watches yet, and so, except for that I know this one is missing stones and probably junky, but there are people that do steampunk lots, and so they'll pick apart the insides and sell like all the springs and gears and things like that, and um, people buy that. So that might be something that comes in the future. Hello, hello. Interesting, they have open, okay, cool. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, good, good, good. Okay, now, what? I'm trying to read the chat and do this at the same time. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Oh darn, is it broken? That's okay, we're gonna take a look at it anyway. Hang on, let me find the end of it. These beads sound really cool. You know how I am with sounds. Listen to those beads. They sound good. And then look at the clasp. Isn't that awesome? I'm wondering if it's missing, no, they just look like little flowers. Oh my gosh, the clasp alone is amazing, which makes me want to really look closer at these beads because of, the, because of the clasp. So they're like these little flowers and vines. Pancake, if you knock over that light, you're in big trouble, mister. And then, so this is how it opens and closes. So we just did in um, December, this is the other end of it. In December, in Jewelry Lovers, I promise this is not a plug for my jewelry group, but in December we were talking, not December, October, we were doing black. Um, and so we were doing jet and onyx 
And so uh, I'm really going to take a close look at these stones because of that. So this is getting set to the side um, because I need to look at it. Right, sell the class without the beads. So I am, I'm going to take a closer look at these beads later and see if I think they might be, I don't know, just the clinky sound of them makes me wonder if they're more than just straight plastic. So that'd be cool because then, you know, we can sell the beads like that. All right, then there's a couple like just little bangles. Those will go into a lot. This I'm trying to figure out. Oh my gosh, pancake. I'm trying to see what he has. Pancake. No, no, forget it. Forget it. So this one is just some leather straps with blue beads on it. I will, this will go into a lot as well. Just like a craft lot. The clasp is a box clasp. Yes, yes. Okay, another little bangle. That'll go into just a, cra a crafting lot. So that's cool. That I mean, that bracelet, that this right here, it was worth the price of admission to me because I like a good mystery. <laughs> I like to do a little research. Cat, you're about to get in for it. You're about to be in for it. Okay, so here we've got some pearly pearls. Not real. I can, yeah, they're not real. But I am setting them aside because we are in January. We're going to be doing per, like talking about pearls in the jewelry lovers. So I want to have all kinds of examples of pearls and not pearls. The beads sound like Swarovski. Yeah, there's a chance. There's a chance. Like like French jet, right? It's more like a glass bead. I'm trying to hear them. I need like I can hear them. Speak to me. <laughs> Tell me what you are. Right? Like I can tickle them. Cat. Hey, Brandy. I need your assistance. Pancake is chasing this button. Can you hand me the button and not pancake? <laughs> thank you. Some stuff fell. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Sorry, pancake. Mine now. Did you find something else? Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Did they put a weight? No, they didn't. But it's um I would say it was probably five pounds. It's pretty heavy. Um, do you have my local Facebook group where you all No. <laughs> Clarence Ninja? Nope. Okay, then we got one loose earring here. You have a local Facebook group where y'all swarm into. I mean, I have a a face. I do have we like jewelry. Uh, not jewelry, but we have Gulf Coast resellers where we've had meetups so where we'll go to different, uh, go thrifting at different thrift stores and stuff. So, but we haven't done it in a while, Clarence Ninja. Um, so I'll have to. Yeah, if you're in, it's called Gulf Coast Reseller. So if you're in the area. You know, go over there and join, and then if we do another meetup at some point, then we'll go through thing, you know. I think we did garage sales one time. Yeah. Okay, so here's this faux leather kind of like belt strap. It almost looks like a animal collar, sort of, except for, I don't know. Anyway, so there's that. That'll go into a lot. Then this is, oops, again, another like pearly necklace. Hang on. It's... Hang on, it's hung up on these earrings. There we go. So pearly, not pearls, pearly necklace, like so. That'll go on my pearl pile, a pearl pile for the group. Okay, so, so far we've done, we've done okay. I mean, enough to make the money back, probably just, unless those are jet beads, which I don't think they are because they're really kind of shiny. So those that will go into a lot. Now I want to look at these beads a little closer because my, my memory is jogging back to our jet discussions and stuff. Uh, I'm looking at them. No, I'm not going to be able to tell right now. I have to really sit down and think about it. Because, too, with, um, with jet, because it's like kind of like how amber is a, a resin. Jet's kind of like that, but it's not a resin. It's like a, a petrified bark so you'll see like wood grain in it if you look real close or under magnification so okay there's a barrette it's missing some things so that's going in a lot again these two I don't, I don't even have to see the mate that'll go into a lot and we still have a lot okay I'm trying to get there what are we at where are we at are you guys having the weather y'all getting cold weather ours is kind of cold we actually might get snow again which is bananas. So these are just some little wooden beads that are painted. They're painted wooden beads. 
how was everybody's Christmas? If you guys are, if you celebrate Christmas, I hate to automatically assume that because I know not everybody celebrates Christmas, but how was your holidays? All right, so this will also go into a craft lot. I had a, a bag where it was all just like shell jewelry. I tried to sort, separate it out, like more shell type jewelry, shell and wooden beads and things like that. Ooh, this one's kind of nice. Hang on. Come here. That's a really nice earring that's hung up on it too. So let's carefully remove. There we go. You go over there. So this is kind of cool. I like these rings. We just went today to the Museum of Natural Science and there was a night exhibit there. And it was really good. Like I would go back <laughs> to see it again. So it was like all this armor. And we did, we're, we did a vlog today for the homeschool channel. So if you're interested, I haven't posted it yet, but I'm going to post it. Um, we went up there and looked at all the armor and the weapons and everything. This is really pretty. And it looks like it's in really good shape. It doesn't have a lot of gross wear on it or anything. And I don't see any maker's marks, but I think it's cool. I think somebody's going to like this mixed metal rings. But it does. It reminds me of like the chain mail and stuff on them. That's pretty cool. Not my style, but cool. Okay. We've got, oh, you're in the teens. Oh, dear. Okay, we've got another, another rosary for my rosary bag. Plastic bracelet. That looked like Star Wars, was it? Nope, they were just circles. <laughs> All right, then. Hmm, okay, that's missing some bits. So it looked like it maybe was a little, either a bracelet or maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Are you going to hook that on there? No, I think it's missing something. So we'll see. Oh, you like them. Aren't they nice, Pamela? Okay, there's this wooden beads. Again, that'll go into a lot. This looks like a napkin ring. What do you guys think? It's tiny, but it looks like copper and brass, doesn't it? It looks like copper and brass. So I'm going to set it aside because look how tiny it is. I mean, come on now. <laughs> That's so tiny. But it is nice and like metals. I've sold bracelets that, you know, the, the mixed metal copper and brass bracelets. That works. Okay, that one we've already got seen the mate for. Cool. Okay, this is kind of nice. Uh, and it's got a vintage clasp on it, so. It's these, like, mother of pearl type beads, but then it's got these shell and those pink ones. What are those pink ones? Hmm. Are they little corals? Maybe they're... I can't, I need, a, need something closer. I need like a magnifying glass. Okay, hold it up. Are they little shells? I think it's shell. Or were, one of them look kind of like a bit of coral or something, but I think they're shell because of the color. But look at that one. Right there kind of looks like a bit of coral, doesn't it? But that's pretty. I might actually try to sell this one. Normally this is the kind of thing I just put in a lot. And then it's got this vintage clasp as well with the hook that goes in. Hang on, I'm trying to show it to you. Like so, pretty. Yeah, so this one I will sell. I don't know for how much because I don't know how much this style generally goes for. <laughs> layers and layers, okay. Okay, if you have a mate, I might sell you. Let's find out. All right, I'm putting up all of these mm, earrings, right? I might actually save this one for the pearl stuff too to talk about even though it's not I, they're not pearls but they look pearly this one will go into a lot it's these wooden beads like so let's see <laughs> oh my gosh jeff is here <laughs> jeff says they are the petrified tears of my enemies so glad that you made it hopefully you're feeling better okay we've got another watch here this is a timex watch it kind of has a nice rugged look to it it's kind of nice. And that's, you know, those are leather straps. So we'll see. I'll take a, a look at, you know, it'll go in my watch basket. Someday, jewelry lovers, we're going we're gonna to tackle watches. That's a lot to tackle, though. Anyway, outside of Buffalo, really cold and snowing. Oh, dear. Yeah, we'll see. We're supposed to get snow again. My sister's place is supposed to get a lot of snow, but we can't go up there. So not yet. All right. The reason is my in-laws are coming next week, so that'll be interesting <laughs> and fun. <laughs> okay, now we've got these earrings. They are tangled up, but once I get them, oh, wait, here we go. Once I get them untangled, 
I'm going to sell these because they are really cool. Look at them. Isn't that fun? I really think somebody's going to like those with the chains and then these like leaves, I guess, down there, beads and stuff. I will have to like come up with some really good keywords for those, but I really think somebody's going to enjoy them. Look how big they are. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, no snow there yet, says Tom. Okay, another bangle. Yep. We still have about halfway to go. Oh, there's that piece that I really saw that I liked. I wanted to see this. I'm going to dig it out. Look at this. <clears throat> Make sure I get it the right side up. Look, it's like this mother pearl. Are they dogs or dragons? And I have no idea what it says because there's some characters down the middle. It's some kind of medallion. I'm guessing it was on a piece of jewelry, obviously. Maybe. But I think it's so pretty. I saw that. I was like, ooh, that's nice. So I'm going to set that to the side because I have no idea about it at all. <laughs> no, no, oh, yet. Wait. I must, I, must, I must have said something. Now Tom's saying yet. Yeah. What? Um, okay. So we've got this. Let's see how yucky it is. So that's going to go into a lot. Palm Beach County, Florida. No snow. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, no. Your baby was ill. Oh, dear. Okay. This looks like one of those ear crawlers that you would wear and hang around your ear. This will, what do you think? Do these sell? I mean, it's got all these crazy piercing things on them. If they're not missing any, it might sell. I may try to sell that. I've never tried to sell an ear crawler like this. Maybe I'll untangle it and see. How would I even take a picture? I mean, how would I take a picture of that? Oh, we'll just do it. Rose coral beads. Thanks, Deb. Thank you so much. Okay, then next up we have another watch, and this looks like DKNY watch, like so. And it's actually got a nice band to it. I like it. Uh, but again, this will go into my watch basket until I learn more. <laughs> I know enough to know. I don't know enough <laughs> about watches. Oh, I like the sound of that one. It would drive me nuts after a while, though. But I like it. All right, so there's that. This will probably end up in a lot as well, only because the elastic in it is kind of shot. Hello, Sheila. I'm so glad you made it. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, you guys, go down there and hit that thumbs up button. Because I always, well, I always say I forget, but I never say it when I intend to say it. So I, I guess I forget. All right, this one, it's kind of worn and yucky looking, and I'm not going to clean it. So that will end up in a lot as well. I guess we've done okay with some things. This is kind of cool. Hang on, the chain is kind of stuck on it. I don't know, this is kind of neat. All right, so it's this tree, and it is worn. I mean, there is some wear to it, but I think it kind of makes it cooler. There's some bubbling to the, the surface. <laughs> Let me see the back. Okay, so here's the back. Ah, here we go. There's the back of it. Again, it's not a, an amazing shape, but I think it kind of adds to the character of it. So I, I will try to sell this. I'll probably put it up between, you know, like 15 and 17 bucks or so. I kind of like that. That's cool. The tree, the barren tree. Yes, the bag was from Goodwill. Let's see. Okay. This was in store. Yeah, this was in store. We've got another bangle and then another stretchy bracelet. And who was it that was saying they like selling these? I, I've sold some stretchy bracelets, but I don't generally like to sell them so much. But anyway, so that'll go into a lot. And hang on, slowly. We've got shells, that'll go into a lot, and then these beads as well as this. There's a lot of stuff going into my craft lot. Coming up, okay, let's see. These are random earrings that are getting set aside. Hang on. And so do you guys have New Year's plans? We don't. I think we're gonna stay home and just hope that no fireworks hit our house. I don't know. So there's that. Yeah, and oh, yeah. The kids would like to see fireworks, but hey, it's, that's the night it's supposed to snow, so we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll get snowed out. I'm like a Grinch for fireworks that are late. Okay, this is going into a lot because it's messed up, but I'm trying to detangle these because these both look really pretty. 
They both look pretty. One of them says George, which I know is Walmart. Oh no, it's One Piece. Okay, so George is Walmart brand, right? But this is really pretty. I know I, I rarely look at the jewelry at Walmart. But this is, hey, Princess Casserole, welcome. <laughs> oh, is that missing a stone? Oh, darn it, it is. Okay, so it's missing stones, which really is a bummer because it's so pretty. Darn. I loved all the little gold chains and stuff, and then these little beads in the chain. I love that. All right, so that's going into a lot because it's missing. Darn it. Okay, then this again, there's a lot to, um, I keep saying, oh, this is going into a lot, but that's okay because we've already kind of made our money back. We haven't like blown it out of the water or anything, but that's okay. It's still fun, right? We're having fun. Now, is that where or is that copper on purpose? No, that's where. Okay, <laughs> guess what? It's going into a lot. But we still have a ways to go. We still have this much. There's still hope. There's still hope in this bag. <laughs> Mangle. Oh, and the Astros one? Oh, yeah. There, we had fireworks going off like crazy. Yep. Even though they're not supposed to. Even though they're not supposed to. They were doing it anyway. All through the neighborhood. All right, we've got this brooch which is just a simple, I think I'll sell it. I mean, some people are looking for just a simple brooch and it's not magnetic or is it? Hang on. I'm trying to see if it's gonna, I'm gonna have to set it down on the table and see if it pulls. It doesn't. Um, don't think I see any marks on it. I'm, I'm gonna look a little closer. Uh, the bag was bought in the store, not online. It was bought at Goodwill, in the Goodwill store. I'm looking to see. So what I'm looking for, it's not magnetic. I don't really think it's gold gold. But what I'm looking for is like around the spots where it like closes, do I see signs of it like scratching off? Like the finish or something? I don't. That's weird. But I don't see any kind of like marks either. So, weird. Okay. And then another thing I'll look for is I'll look around, you know, where it moves, moving parts to see if I see where it's like scratched the finish off. But I don't see that at all. Hmm. I don't see any kind of marks either. I'll, I'll test it. I mean, it doesn't hurt, right? I don't really think it's going to be gold, but it's not magnetic. I don't see any signs of wear. Who knows? I'll throw it over there. Why not? Right? Okay, then this is a broken bit of something. Watch, maybe? Bracelet? Who knows? Right? Okay. Then, oh, this is cool. It's kind of got wear to it, so, eh, oh well. I like the style of these beads, but you can see the wear on them. So these will go into a lot. Come on, bag, don't fail me now. Ooh, it's broken, but it's cool. Look at that, could you imagine? That would have been awesome. But yeah, totally broken. Buyer beware, this bag is turning out to be a, not a total bust, but not a home run either. But they can't all be, can they? They can't all be, that's okay. Wooden bracelet, that's going into the lot. I just don't even want to say a lot anymore. We'll just say we're throwing, throwing it into the basket. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, and then we've got some more shell ones that are going into the basket. <laughs> oh, I remember making these when I was like Girl Scouts or something, these little pin ones. I don't know. You think that would sell? It might. Somebody's reminiscing about their, their days. I don't know. I'm going to try to sell it <laughs> just because, just to see if I can, just to prove I can. I'm going to sell it. All right. Then another broken one. Broken. Why do you have to be broken? But that's okay. The only thing about being in here, because I'm in the other room, is that Groucho, my Groucho doll is in the other room, and I like having Groucho next to me. He always made me smile. I guess I can move him in here. Okay, we've got another watch, and the brand is 
Milan, it looks like, which I know zero about again. So it will go into, I'm looking at the back to see what kind of movement it has. Like I know, I can't read it, it's too small. Okay, so that will go into my watch basket until I figure out what I'm gonna do with it. Another one for the basket. Come on, man. All right, so that one's missing a stone. Oh, this is getting depressing. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we've got a faux leather and, yeah, no, there I go, no. Nope, <laughs> nope. Too big for a, okay. I don't know if you're in the same spot as, oh, there's some more of these things. Look, look. Okay, look at that. We had, that was one of those other ones. What would these be used for, do you think? They're too tiny for bracelets. I mean, I guess they were, unless they were child size bracelets, but they're too big for napkin rings. Yeah. Okay, next. No, nope, these ones are kind of chipping and weird. And then these ones are missing stones. You just came to watch me like get really depressed. <laughs> no. <laughs> Again, yuck. We're gonna do this. We're gonna make this work. Okay. I'm setting earrings up here for now. Oh wait, here we go. Maybe this is something good. I see cowboy boots. Okay, I'm gonna set it up here, but it's promising if we can find the mate. I'll show you, I'll show you this one. Hang on, let me get this up here. I think this is where it goes. There, okay. If we can find the mate for this one, this will be fun earrings. It's got like spurs and cowboy boots and a guitar and a saddle up here. Oh yeah. <laughs> here comes the big one, thanks Thelma. <laughs> right, it's all in the attitude. <laughs> all right, so yeah, I hope the mate's in there for these because these are awesome. Those will sell. I'm gonna put this to the side because I think they're super awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you win some and you lose some, but there's still a lot in there, so. Oh wait, is that the earring mate? Nope. But it's another saddle earring, which is also super awesome. Okay, let's take a look at that. Even though the mate's not there. Isn't that cool? Saddle. Hang on. It feels tinny, so I don't, yeah. It's, I'm gonna set it to the side because I really like it. Okay, okay. There's this brooch, which is stuck with this neck. Okay, well, there's a chain stuck in there, but that's pretty cool. That brushed gold metal color that'll that'll sell. People like that kind of that kind of thing, so that's cool. All right, digging more, digging more. Loose earrings. <laughs> Thanks for coming. You've had you've had some not so great ones. Princess Casserole says lately. Yeah. I just ha I was just happy to find them. That's cool. It's fun to go through. It is. Now this is another watch. That's got some Christmas bells. That'll go in my watch basket for later. Another bangle with this enamel inside. It's kind of pretty. This one will go into just like a craft lot. <laughs> Lots of broken broken stuff. But that's okay. I keep saying that, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, the loose ones come up here. And the thing too is like, even if there's a loose one in here, the mate for it may be in one of the other bags that I got, because I got all three bags. All right, that's going in the basket. So here's a necklace that's kind of <laughs> fancy for a little, maybe for a little girl or something. It's got this Y. Remember when Jennifer Aniston wore those that were like the Y-shaped necklace that had the little drop? That's what that reminds me of, even though this is not at all what I would imagine her to wear. So I'm using my magnet on it. It's not magnetic, but it's not. It's not fancy either. Not fancy. So let's see. Nope. Nope. Okay. Keep digging. Keep digging. Okay. I feel like I'm getting really quiet. <laughs> We have a gymnast medal. Are you guys excited about the Olympics? Y'all watch the Winter Olympics? It's coming back this year. All right. I'm excited. 
I always enjoy watching them. The kids enjoy it too, so it's been a while. All right. Oh, dear. We have got some more bangles, which I will put into lots. I like this earring. You get to come to the side. More bangles going into the craft lot. Same thing with these right here. So how have your sales been? How's Q4 been for you guys? It's, it's almost over. It's almost 2018. I can't believe it. We're getting close. Lot. <laughs> Uh oh, I dropped some pieces. Hang on. That's different. Hang on. I don't know. Suddenly I'm just really quiet. I think I need a nap. <laughs> there we go. There's that one. It's, <laughs> yes, Jeff, it, it is. Yes. All right. Put that to the side. Put this to the side. I have a feeling we're going to have a lot of earrings without mates up here because I've got quite quite a few earrings up here that I haven't found the mate for yet. And that's, this one is missing a stone in the center. Oh dear, I'm just, you know what? What I'm gonna do is instead of showing you broken stuff, I'm just gonna keep digging till I find something cool. How about that? And then if I don't, we'll all just be okay. <laughs> this one is all scratched up. The finish is all scratched off of it. Um, oh, that's cool. I'm going to set that to the side. So if I found the mates, okay. There's some pretty stuff. This is really tangled. Okay, I'll just show you the tangle. There's a big tangle of stuff, like so. I'm looking to see if there's anything worth me talking about. No. Nope. <laughs> We're losing you. For, oh, just starting where sales have been good. Check the enamel. Someone in the group found a carrot. Oh, really? Okay. That's true. I didn't even think about that, Thelma. A uh, carrot gold enamel bangle. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's like, where did my magnet go? It just left. No. Uh, I didn't think about it, though. You're right. I, I should check that. Okay. Sales went good. Um, mm, no, no. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother. If it's like just gross, I'm just, you don't even need to see that, right? That's missing stones. This one's cool. If the mate is there, that would be awesome. I'll show that to you. All right, you get to, now you're just watching me sort jewelry. Okay, here we've got somebody's medal, their swimming medal. I don't know that those really sell, but they're cool. And it's marked W or YWCA 1980. It's in the 80s. So that's cool. So you guys that are in the chat, do you when you sell jewelry, is there something you prefer selling? Like do you prefer selling brooches or do you prefer selling I'm trying to read this and talk at the same time. You know, rings, bracelets, necklaces. What's what's your favorite thing to sell? I think this is, uh, oh, it says, uh, no, I can't read. Okay, just give it up, Margaret. Get the loop. Celebrity. Oh, that's a brand I don't know. I'm going to have to check that one out. This brand is called Celebrity on that earring. So we'll see if the mate's there, and we'll learn more about Celebrity earrings. Right? Okay, this is one I wish I had something to dump this into. Da, 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 da. I'm just going to throw the bits over here and sing about it. Uh, Y'all, oh wait, okay, here we go. This looks like, this looks like little amber chips on this necklace right here, y'all. So I will be taking a peek at that. It's got this medallion on it, which looks like it's bone. Let me look close. Yeah, so this has got a, yeah, it's a bone. So this has got a bone medallion and most likely amber chips on it. So I'll have to double check about selling that. It would have to go probably on Etsy. Ta-da! Okay, good. <laughs> it's not a total bust. Woohoo! Ooh, that's cool. It's like a little star. 
I mean, it's not jewelry, but it's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty. Let's see. Jersey and sporting kids, he says. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, then we're not in competition, even though you live near me. Because I don't sell any kind of sporting goods or jerseys at all. It's all good. Oh, oh, this looks promising. Oh, please, I hope the mate's there. Here, I'll show you. This earring looks cool. But I, yeah, I'll see if the mate's there. I sold some earrings that were not too dissimilar from this that were James Avery. This one is not at all James Avery. I can see the wear on the corner there. But I sold some that were this brass and sterling silver James Avery earrings that were really like that. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Anything? No, 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 no. No, no. Okay. Um, going through these. Try to go through them a little quicker so I can get some of these. Because I feel like I'm just... And I don't know. Usually I'm more talkative than I am this evening. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> if you have any questions, y'all can ask them. And I'll answer them. That'd be good. That'll give us something both to talk about. Any questions? I'll answer it. Okay, so we've got this bracelet here, which... It's kind of worn looking, but I, I like the chain link effect there. Put all the metal bangles for a belly dancer bracelet. That's that's a good idea. Because they definitely do that. They like they like the bangles. Not like the music bangles. <laughs> Let's see. I got all those jewelry jars. They have tons of oh yeah, I have tons of I did not need this, but I needed it. I didn't need it for the inventory, but I needed it for my for my soul. <laughs> yep, yep. So there's that. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's always fun. It's just to dig through it, right? We've got some more kind of glass beads. Those will probably go to my sister. Those are different. No questions. Okay, good. Then I get to keep all my secrets to myself. <laughs> Then this, this does look like silver, so I'm going to put that to the side. And those look like gold tone. There's something poking my leg in this bag. It's poking. Uh-oh. There goes the thing. All right. So do you guys sell on eBay, Etsy, or both? I have not even tried Poshmark yet, and I know I've been told I should really jump into trying Poshmark. Sorry, I'm just throwing things into the in here. Y'all probably don't want to see just broken stuff. Yeah. We've got a little watch. Oh, this is a little girl's Timex watch. That's cute. It's got a little butterfly. It looks like it's got some wear to it. But no, 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 no. That's like the little butterfly flying around. Oh, this is cool. Texas. Um, am I selling anything locally? I do. I sell some stuff locally. And again, yeah, I did have somebody today just not... They changed their mind twice. Twice they changed their mind. One of it, they didn't want it. Then they wanted it again. And then they and then they changed their mind again. Like, okay, that's it. We're not playing anymore. But I've been selling a lot of my inventory. Like, I've been doing those D stash boxes. And then if stuff doesn't sell, I'll sell it locally. Um, or if um if it's a breakable you know i haven't been putting breakables or really big stuff in the d stash boxes okay so we've got this howlite skull bracelet i might try to sell that so this is the stuff this howlite this is the stuff that frequently gets dyed to replicate turquoise so sometimes if you see turquoise and then there might be some like white spots in it or something. It might be a howlite that has been dyed, so it's not really turquoise. So there's that. <laughs> Are you the only? Oh, is there only one like over there? Oh dear. I would say Santa's not coming, but he's probably already not come for you since you're so naughty. You haven't hit the like button. <laughs> okay, so then I still haven't found the mates for those earrings. We're not giving up hope yet. We are not. Okay, lots of broken stuff in this one. That's okay. Don't despair, Margaret. We have a cross. That is pretty. It will still go in a lot. And da, 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 da. what is this? An earring that's missing a stone. Let's see. 
Just do it, yes. <laughs> okay, we've got some earrings here. Hang on, I'm going to set that to the side. Because now that I've found that other... Oh, wait, hang on. I have found an earring I'm going to look at closer. Only I was going to, only it jumped. I was looking at it in the 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 shaft of the earring was gold as well as the earring part was gold. And then I set it down right next to my magnet and it jumped on it. So, well, that took care of that. I thought I was going to, I thought I was going to look closer at it, but no, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. We're just going to start dropping some of these in here. Are those, those might be silver. We'll see. Okay. Let's take a look. I've got another, nope, not silver. And another one. Y'all are doing really well. I feel like I'm really just boring tonight. <laughs> but yeah, I, seriously, if y'all have any questions, ask them. This green disc. So I'll do my best to answer what I can or to find out later, but make up something funny on the spot if I can. Oh, this is shedding. This is shedding, but it's pretty. Do I sell more jewelry on eBay or Etsy? And lately it's been Etsy. Lately Etsy has been winning. I've been selling those lots on Etsy, which has been kind of nice. Like mystery box type jewelry. Ugh. Okay, I found some unconite. Am I saying that right? Un unconite? That's what that is, right? These green and pink stone earrings. That's a good, that's a good find, right? Y'all tell me if I'm saying that right. Unkanite? U-N-K-A-N-I-T-E? Isn't that what that is? These stone earrings. So that's cool. Okay, those will sell. Yay! <laughs> I am seeing... Is that a ring? I thought I saw a ring. Hang on. This looks like an anklet. I heard anklets were coming back in. This is a very unique looking anklet, like so. Aren't they cute, Helma? Yeah. Okay, come back, you. Ah. Uh, I may be off today. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so I'm not seeing the other earrings in there, but take a look. I found a pin. This is cute. Okay, this will sell. It's like a little, do you think it's a bee? Is my sister going to want that? It's got this like bronzy cabochon in there. Is it missing stones? I'm trying to see if it's missing any stones. Hang on. Um, nope. Nope, not missing stones. That's good. Yeah, that's cute. That's so. <clears throat> okay, good. Good, Chris. <laughs> Chris says he's super lazy today. Bug brooches, right? Yeah. Flirtatious ankle bracelets are in clamps and just says good, good. Okay, good. Woo. It makes me want to go to the Mediterranean restaurant for dinner. Who's in? All right, these ones are cool. These have this Art Deco. They look like arrowheads almost, like Indian arrowhead, Art Deco. Those will sell. These are cool. Those are pretty cool. So that will sell. How are you doing, Chris? Hope you're doing well. And, gosh, I have so many earrings up here that don't have the mate yet. But, again, they could be in these other boxes. Okay, again, just going to throw some stuff over to the side. Eh, meh. Yep, yep, nope. Well, it wasn't a total bust. Not a total bust. Hang on, I'm just going to quick glance at things and throw them in the basket over here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. These ones, I'm going to have to figure out what stone these are. Found the mate for these ones. Yay. So these hearts are some kind of stone but i don't know what yet i'll have to double check on what kind of stone they are uh oh i'm a fat baby that can dress like a man <clears throat> i can shake a nut fanny i can shake a can. hang on we got yeah okay so i'll find out what stones those are they look like some kind of sedimentary um let me look close I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue, but there's some kind of like, they look like some kind of sedimentary rock, so we'll see. I uh, will find out. There's that. Should I mute? Should I mute myself? 
They're having a bit of a fuss over there. Randy's helping take care of it. Maybe. Hang on. Let me know if y'all can hear it too much. And I'll mute for just a second. Okay, I'm looking. Okay, okay, okay. No, no. Y'all, I feel really bad that <laughs> this is super boring today. Uh-oh. Let me mute for just one second. Hang on. Okay. All right. So yeah, again, I have a ton of earrings up here that I never found the mate for. We've got a family crisis going on. Um, so <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them to the side so that when I open these other ones, I'll um, possibly find them in the other bags. Hopefully, because I really like these cowboy ones and I really like the saddle ones. So yeah, it's all good. Day. Thanks, thanks, guys. Okay, I don't know if you're talking. Good golly. Like a man. I can shake a Danny, I can shake a Okay, great. Okay. <laughs> I know I'm gonna have to get used to it, right, Chris? Because we're not. They're not going anywhere now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go. Um, I found a couple cool things. I'll let you know what I find out about those black beads with the box clip on them and. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so thanks so much for coming to watch you guys. And if you're interested, I know this, they're not usually, maybe it's not as boring as I thought it was. I think I'm just tired. I don't know. Anyway, okay, I will be back another time to unbag the rest of these. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for coming to hang out. And see you later. Bye.